What's going on everyone? I am back once again with another uh, movie review and I'm going to be reviewing Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. So this is the second uh, theatrical Power Rangers movie that we would get until the 2017 film came out. And this time we're introduced, you know, the Rangers are introduced to new powers. Um, it's basically the pilot episode of the Turbo series. And I will explain that uh, later in this video. And the we, we also get something really cool. We get the introduction to a kid Power Ranger, uh, Justin, who becomes our new Blue Ranger and would eventually become the only kid uh, throughout the series to be a Ranger, which I thought was cool. Now, um, in this one, you know, we have Diva Talks, who would later be the villain throughout Turbo. And she wants to, she, she basically needs to go to, uh, what, I guess a planet or an island that has a volcano and there's a creature that stays there. She wants to marry him to get some type of power or something like that. It's, it, the plot's weird. Uh, at the same time, she kidnaps two former Power Rangers, Amy Jo Johnson and Austin St. John return as Jason and Kimberly. And, of course, you know, Rocky gets injured, he is out, and basically he passes the torch to Justin. So, the actor who plays Rocky, which is, uh, what's his name, what's his name, Steve Cordonas, uh, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, he was eventually leaving the series anyway. Uh, he would be in a couple episodes for the Turbo series, I think like the graduation parts and then that was it uh everybody else would continue on their their roles um but uh yeah they they basically get these new powers diva talks tries to turn uh kimberly and jason uh evil bulk of skull kind of get their memories wiped out and, and things like that and yeah it, it's just uh it's an interesting movie you got this creature named larigo who you know his wife and child are kidnapped by diva talks diva talks needs him and his magic in order to you know be able to go to this island and just yeah it, it's it's very complicated but weird and fun and interesting all at the same time now when i said it's basically a pilot uh episode or you know one pilot movie to the series um it's con this is actually a continuity to the Turbo series. So this was kind of their way of introducing, ending Zeo in some way and introducing Turbo. So when the first few episodes of the Turbo series started, they started after the aftermath of this movie. So this is basically your pilot episode, your very first episode of the series. So it is continuity. Um... Everybody would return for the series eventually once they got to like the halfway mark of Turbo uh, We would see Jason David Frank, Kath, uh, Catherine Sutherland, um, Hillary Shepard and No, not Hillary Shepard uh, Nakia Burris, Burris, I believe is the actress who plays um, Tanya, I believe is her name uh, and Johnny Young Bosch, they would all leave. I think Hilary Shepard plays uh, Diva Talks. I could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, uh, they would eventually leave. Just the, the actor who plays Justin would stay and continue on until uh, Turbo would end. So the, the I, I have to say the story behind Turbo with the series and the movie is a very interesting one, to say the least. Because, you know, we, we're getting a, a full-length feature film as our start to this series. And then we're seeing our favorite characters pass the torch on halfway through the season. So it, it's definitely a weird and interesting uh, series, uh, season and series all, all around. Uh, same with the movie. Um, the quality on this, I think isn't too bad the introduction like if you watch the first Mighty more you've watched the money more from power rangers the movie you kind of get like an introduction of you know the 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 like backstory of ivan news and, and things like that they kind of do it similar to this you know it's like that star wars type you know graphic where you know you got all the lettering and it's basically telling you a little just his like little prequel um type of thing and that scene 
didn't look all that great. It was almost like the quality was very bad. And then once the the uh, logo came up, then you could tell the HD was, um, you know, the HD was pretty nice. Uh, I have to say the quality on this is definitely a lot better than uh, the Mighty Morphin uh, Power Rangers the movie. This was released in 1997, so you're looking at like a two different year mark, and the quality on this was ten times better uh, than the first movie. Now I'm uh, I'm gonna be honest, it looked amazing, it, it, a lot of grainy uh, parts, but I think this seemed to be a little more crisp or crispier. Uh, I guess the best way to put it. Um, I wish I could say more, but I, I've always had a fun time with this. I saw this in theaters when it came out with a friend of mine, my brother, my father, um, and just had a good time with it. One of my favorite seasons along with Zio. Now, you do get a look back feature it's the same thing with the other uh, Power Rangers Blu-ray. Excuse me. Now, they were able to get interviews with the actress who plays Tanya, I believe is her name. Um, you got Kath, Catherine Sutherland, and whoever plays Justin, um, which is, uh, I believe Paul, Paul Schreier. I, I, no, no, that, that's, that's Balkan Skull. Jason Darby, I think Paul Schreier is, uh, Paul Schreier, I think it's Bulk. I, they don't, I don't even see the name. What, what is his name? Blake Foster. There we go. Blake Foster um, and what I like about they got him and I think that's it I didn't get a chance to finish it so I'll have to look to see if they had anybody else um, but it was interesting talking about the film and, and everything like that like the actress who plays uh, you know Tanya she never really uh, didn't she never saw this the show she actually said that she had to watch the show to kind of get an idea before she auditioned because you know she came in at the end of Mighty Morphin and would eventually go through Zeo and then the halfway mark of the Turbo series but the actor who plays Justin has been a fan he states in the interview uh, that you know he was a fan of the series and when he found out he was going to do this he was all excited when he got to meet a lot of the actors he was just starstruck he even said during the table read he was just in awe um, which is cool and uh, yeah um, it's a fun movie like I said uh, definitely one to pick up and add to the collection especially if you're a Power Ranger fan uh, so there that's my review for uh, Turbo a Power Rangers movie I hope you all enjoyed this and if you did then don't forget to do the, the stuff you know like subscribe comment and until next time guys I'll see you in a future video peace